for games, colour seemed absolute essential and better graphics. So games were being made for the ZX81, so wanted to think how to design a Spectrum to make that better as a game computer. The Spectrum compared with the ZX81, right from the off, it was going to be colour. So that needed different hardware. It needed extra software to deal with the fact that pixels had colours associated with them. The display was made of sufficient pixels grouped together in a square to make a letter. And I think the way it worked, each letter had a foreground colour and a background colour. So it worked kind of the same way as um, black and white would do except that now you could replace black and white by other colours. So that meant that it certainly needed extra memory allocated to the colour information and it needed some extra code for dealing with the, the different colours. That was a big thing. It was going to be the colour ZX81. But on top of that it had better graphics facilities so it would let you draw circles and straight lines. So that was bit of extra software. The tape storage, so it used cassette tapes for storing program and that had been a bit crude on the ZX81 so on the Spectrum that was much improved so you had headers so that the programs had names and you could look for the one you wanted and this is a kind of accident but when you're loading from tape there are lots of signals coming through and the Spectrum we found if you fed that through to the TV display yeah, they're pretty patterns, but you could also see what was going on. You could see where the program started and uh, which bit was the header, and it helped you diagnose what the problem was if it wasn't working. If it didn't work first time, let's put it that way. Um, and there were some features put in for dealing with peripherals that weren't just tape storage. I mean, by the time I'd finished, the, the peripherals hadn't come into production, so we, we didn't really have anything to test them against. So that was a bit uncertain whether that would, how that was going to work. 